Hi, I'm Min and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing an unboxing video which I have never tried before in my channel. And some of you know that I do use to do unboxing videos but they are mostly Wizarding World related. And today I'm going to do a clothing line unboxing for you. As recently, I've also been posting videos of me spending my time and my lifestyle in Malaysia since I've moved back permanently uh, to my house here in Malaysia after the COVID restriction have eased. And I am really excited to do this unboxing video today as this is something new to me and to my channel here as well. I've ordered myself my first box of Allegra Personal Styling Service. Just to say first, this is not a sponsored video. I purchase and spend money on this box on my own and all the opinions will be my own. Allegra is an all-woman and local business in Malaysia and there are so many reasons why I fall in love with their service the moment I see it. Let's just say that I personally do not enjoy going for shopping, say it's like for clothing, bags, shoes, etc. etc. to the point that I personally feel that even some men can do better shopping than I do and I don't go for trends either so it can be kind of hard to um, style my clothes and outfits but with Allegra they do all the styling for me all I have to do is to take a few minutes to answer their styling quiz and they will suit towards the comfort of my budget and the type of taste and style that I prefer they will also have uh, a question at the end where I let you tell then more about yourself, like what you really dislike, what color that you really don't like, you can tell them as well. And they have so many variety of brands across from international to local brands. So you can actually style towards the needs whether you are looking for a nice dinner dress, a formal dinner dress, or you are looking just for a casual Sunday look to working outfits as well. So yeah, whatever you like, just take the quiz and they have everything there for you. And when you get the box, you'll be expecting five curated items by the professionals themselves, and then you have three days to decide what you like or what you don't like, and if you don't like the outfit, you just return them. And the shipping fee for both ways are free. So, you know, you don't have to commit for shipping fee, and best thing of all is, this is not a subscription box. No, it is not a subscription box. So, no subscription, no commitments. All you have to do is to pay the first 50 ringgit and that is considered the styling fee and you can offset when you check out on the purchase of the items that you like. So, you only pay for what you like and you just return back to them what you don't like or you don't think that it fits you, you don't think that that's your style, then yeah, and let's say that if you like all five items, they will give you another additional 20% off the entire bill. How amazing is that, right? So if you're really interested, I have left the link down below in my description box. And if you use my link, you will get your first box for 50% off, which might be worth that first 50 ringgit styling off fee with. Okay, and if that doesn't sound great enough, I'm going to unbox my first Allegra box now and check out what outfit I get. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the five items I get and then we will move to my little walking wardrobe to try out the outfit and to see which one I look good in them and which are the one that doesn't fit me because in terms of sizing wise, uh, I will have to see those that are given to me how well it fits my body because sometimes we struggle to get the correct sizing while buying clothes online but not to worry because if it doesn't fit me all I have to do is just return them because I only pay for what I want Alright, so in every box you will receive styling tips that comes with the outfits and stuff and I find that this is very useful for people like me who doesn't know much about styling and the advice could give me some inspiration to know what accessories to pair up with certain outfits and this is the uh, shipping label that they provide for you so if you have the remaining outfits that you don't think that you want it you just have to pack it in a... Um let me see. Right, they do have this um, Ninja Van 
shipping back for you as well so all you have to do is to pack the clothings that you do not want in there and then you just paste the label on it and then you can just yeah, ship it back to them very simple so okay I'm going to open this and see what I get now remember not to take out the tag uh, unless you have already decided like clearly what you want because to ship it back to them you have to keep the label on so uh, when I try it I'm gonna keep everything in okay wow this is long oh this is so nice it is an off shoulder dress I guess okay so I've got a very nice almost maxi length of a blue dress have a scrunchy waist black dress I love black I've got a lot of black clothing and I will never complain to get more another dress so I've got two dress here oh cute I love the buckle belt okay this is a short this one is a top I love the material it's so soft Right, so I've got a black top, a very nice quality white pants. <gasps> wow, I'm loving all their buckle belt. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. And the material is so good and thick. Their quality is like really nice. Yeah, we're going to move into my little walking wardrobe and try out all the outfit. Okay, so this is what I'm worried about. Uh, it, I can't even zip it up. This is the pen size of 36. Uh, I will show you my pen size that I own. Um, I did mention to the stylist as well that I have been gaining a lot of weight and there are so many pens that I literally can't fit. I really love this top. It's very loose and um, even though I have flabby arms, I can always put on a jacket like um, like this one right here, if I want a casual look, I can always put on a then check it to cover my flabby arms. And yeah, but it's just um, the pants, I can even zip it up, so that's a shame. I really like the buckle, but yeah. I will try on the other pants and see if it works at all. Okay, for the white pants, I can fit in just like nicely but I'm not very comfortable with it because it's actually very tight and it, I can zip everything up and put on a buckle because it is a stretchy material which I like. The cutting is also really nice. I love it. Uh, quality, the thickness of the pants is really good even though it's wide you can't really see much of the black clothing uh, underneath it. The sizing really doesn't fit me. Like you can see from the side view, um, the tummy is kind of bulging. I, like I said, I've gained a lot of weight and yeah, what a shame. I don't think I would take these pants either. I don't feel comfortable. Like I can sit down and show you, it's like gonna be like really tight. So the moment I let off the buckle, can you see like how tight it is? Like so, as like this and I have to suck it in and you know so you can see that the material is actually really stretchy I love the design the buckle is not all the way off so when you wash them you don't have to wash them separately it's together like this is how you put it in I can just show you all right if you want a little bit more formal you can always put on a outer layer an outer wear like this okay you know Accessories wise, I think I might go with things like a nice little minimalist choker. They do recommend me to wear something with gold, gold accessories. I don't have much gold accessories, but I have this um, The Wizarding World Time Turner, which is in gold color. Here you have it. That's the gold color um, detailing that I can go for. I have gold color ear accessories, ear golden earrings, and this uh, necklace. I can even pair it with this. 
it's nice and flowy and for uh, people like us who stay in the part of Asia who doesn't experience the fall season is summer like throughout the whole entire year we always try to wear clothing that is airy so this is like really good I will definitely keep this top for sure because I do have other pants which is okay maybe I should try with my own pants and see what I get All right. so this outfit right here I wear it with my um, chiffon looking outer layer and my midi length um, center cut I don't know what you call this it's a midi length uh, denim skirt this one um, is a gift from my sister there's no brands at all so um, the sizing isn't accurate as well but it it was from China obviously and uh, the size was an L size and during that when I fit it on my size is in between uh, L and M and right now it still fits me pretty well uh, just to let you take a look at the back it's like that so I feel that I can either choose to wear it with this um, outerwear or else I can also just wear it like this I have another denim ones which is a mom jeans so I will wear the mom jeans and show you guys okay so this is with the mom jeans okay as I was filming halfway my um, Canon camera battery died on me so I'm just using my iPhone to shoot I'm wearing this mom jeans I would definitely like to pair up with my denim jacket that's how I will style it I guess and I'm going to try changing out my gold accessories this might be a look that I will go for so this is a promising top I'll definitely for sure gonna keep this piece because it can style with so many of the clothing that I already have yeah there's so much variety that you can do with this be it casual or formal I have been doing uh, two informal outfits with my Danny wear so I will see if I have some of my formal pants that I will be pairing with and I will also show you the size that I'm wearing right now it's not 36 for sure so yeah for the next box that I will try I will definitely uh, remind them to pick a larger size for me this pants this mom jeans itself comes from cotton on most of my pants are either from cotton on H&M or love bonito their size are mostly 38 at minimum sometimes I will pick even up to 40 because yeah I'm really getting fatter and fatter for example Uniqlo the size I usually go by SML I will usually get M by minimum depending on the uh, type of material of the pants sometimes it's not stretchy I might even go up to L because I want to feel comfortable that I can go out for dinner have a big meal and while sitting down without feeling suffocated so yeah I'm gonna change out for a more formal pants for a more formal look for you it here works for uh, formal it can look a little bit empty if you're not wearing the outerwear so if I am not wearing this outerwear I will go for my time turner necklace which drip along the front of my chest which I think would better otherwise I could also go for something a simple necklace like this this is also handmade it's just a really big rock crystal okay so I think this is the final look that I'm going to try with this top uh, this is my formal pants that I wear to work or where I used to work in the office or attending events job it's very suitable and I'll be pairing with a formal shoe of course and yes I was supposed to show you my size so this is from cotton on and yeah the size is EU38 right so yeah this pants right here is from Uniqlo it happened to be a size S because uh, it is super stretchy and you can see the back is the scrunchy type which um, allows me to sit and it expands so it doesn't strangle my fat yeah which is why even for working pants I go for this type of stretchy pants these days because yeah the zipping one and the bottom ones 
will suffocate me over time and I have to change out and throw or donate away. I'm gonna try the remaining two dresses. Oh my god, you guys, look at this dress. So cute! It has this like um mini little cottage vibe that I like and it's so flowy and it's made of this linen material which is so good for like summer weather there is double layer here so you don't have to scared that your uh, skirt will fly and you know yeah seen the part that it's not supposed to be seen and so it's so comfy and I like this little ribbon here uh, it is detachable it's a two separate piece so you can either uh, tie it front or tie it to the back for me I personally like to tie it to the back carrying my shopping bag this is my grocery shopping bag so it's like mm, so cute right I'm like shopping in France <laughs> I like that they have this scrunchy thing. The sleeve is actually this long and it's also scrunchy this side as well so that you won't have to uh, be afraid that it will tend to fall off you know so it's very um, securely tucked on the shoulder. I can go for a long sleeve look if I like it doesn't look bad at all. What do you guys think? I think this is easily my favorite so far. This is like perfect even though I don't have much waistline but this like a uh, simple ribbon here helps to create the minimal I like it okay shall we try the uh, second dress then this outfit right here uh, definitely works really well for uh, working outfit it's a shame that the size is small I just realized the the, the previous dress that I wore is um, size EU38 which is exactly the size that I will go for at my most smallest size for now that I will go for 38 right so this size right here I realize is 36 and you can see that it's actually showing my little mini flesh I can actually touch my stomach here it's not very flattering it's like bulging out the material is airy and comfortable the cutting is all right for me I feel and I think even for all those previous outfits that I wore, especially the two pants, I think it works for me. The style really works for me, but um, it's a shame that the size doesn't. 36 definitely doesn't work for me. It's too small. I'm a bit too fat for this. And yeah, so I think I like, uh, I will definitely keep the dress and also the top. So I'm going to go for two of that pieces and I'm going to pack and return the remaining of this uh, clothes that doesn't fit but what do you guys think which outfit do you think works best for me personally I will go for the uh, blue color whimsical cottage dress because uh, one thing I really like the material I love how I look in it and uh, blue is my favorite color yeah I love I love neutral colors I love black I love navy I love white and should I highlight again black <laughs> and also the black top I think it's super versatile I can go for formal and casual so yeah that's definitely the two that I will keep but my favorite will still have to be the cottage looking dress I'm gonna change out and I'll see you in a bit all right so that is all set now that I am getting these two items so that's the top and the whimsical cottage looking dress that I love and the remaining three items I've also folded it and packed it aside for the return shipping and so yeah lastly don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more future content and I hope to see you on the next one but for now I'm going to do my checkout and pack the shipment see you next time